Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Brent and in today's video we're going to be checking out a new free Minecraft server hosting called Felix Nodes. This was from a viewer subscriber comment, Cucumber Golem. Thank you for leaving the comment down below. If anybody else has suggestions for other free Minecraft servers, let me know down in the comment section below and I will be checking them out, making a video on them. So far, this is probably the number one that I've liked so far, beating out Skynode as number two and then Minehut, Aternos, and so on from then. Uh, this one, we're gonna go ahead and cover the whole process from get-go. It is a 24 seven Minecraft server where it can be up the whole time. You could add more RAM, CPU, disk space, all by just watching ads or visiting other Discord channels. So let's go ahead and cover it in today's video. If you are brand new to the channel, have not yet subscribed, go down below, hit the red button to subscribe, make it gray. Hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, make it blue, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So right off the bat, we're going to want to go to felixnodes.net. So down, there's going to be a little banner there. Just head over to their website. It'll look exactly like this. Up at the top, you're going to go ahead and select start now and go ahead and select on you know, setting up your server. Now it's gonna go ahead and appear to this screen where it's gonna go ahead and give you the option to check out their user agreement to get your free hosting. But in order to set up your accounts here, you do have to register and log in via Discord. So if you don't have a Discord yet, a Discord name, this is something that you have to go out and sign up for and get started. And then once you've done that, come on back and click on the Discord option here. Now by Clicking authorize, you're giving Felix access to your username, avatar, banner, access to your email, know what servers you're on and playing on, what servers are joining and such. So this is kind of, um, it depends on how private you want to be with what you're doing on your Discord. In this case, it's there. It's basically to kind of give you the free hosting service. So they're, they're gonna be keeping track of what servers you're logging on to, what Discord channels you're logging on to in order to pay you Felix coins, which is their currency here. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit authorize and you're gonna go ahead and appear here on the main page right here. So this is the main page when I'm logging in initially, welcome, unchallenged. Now in order to get Felix coin, you can do different promotions, which they have listed here and how much the reward is for it. So we're gonna go ahead and create a server. So by hitting create a server, before we can create our server, we do need to join a few different Discord servers below. And then once we've joined a few to collect some Felix coin, we're gonna go ahead and log out and log back into the website. So I went through here joining a few different Discord channels such as this one here. I went ahead and just quickly joined it, logged out, logged back in, and I had collected a few Felix, Felix coins along the way. Now this is the main page right here. So we don't have the option yet to create a, a server or have a server available yet, but we do have the options now as far as getting it going. So we can see here really quickly at a glance, you get one CPU, you get 3000 megabytes, which is three gigs of memory, which is, you know, Example, Minehut offers you one gigabyte for free. Skynode offers you two gigabytes for free. Aternos, I believe, is one gigabyte. So right off the bat, they're already offering you by default, you know, two or three times what the, some of the other free hostings offer. They also offer you 15 gigs or 15,000 megabytes of space for your Minecraft server. So go ahead and create your server now. And you go ahead and basically come up to this page. You know, they're basically able to offer you a free Minecraft server hosting because of all their ads. I basically covered up all their ads because, you know, I'm not getting paid to advertise their ads. So here I just kind of covered them up with my ads, which, you know, this is all coming soon in the future. But okay, so initially going back to sign up for all those Discord channels earlier, we are now able to have received some Felix coins. So in order to upgrade and start up our server, we do have to click here, which as a Felix is a free hosting service. However, we cannot earn enough to let everyone have a free server on our platform. Since we have limited amount of slots in each node, we could fit more servers into each service node, but we wish we could sustain our high 
quality hosting services in order to be able to provide a better quality service to our customers we kindly ask people to pay 500 Felix coins, which we can get here. So basically you're doing ads, you're clicking on ads, you're clicking on discords, they're receiving some sort of a commission from that. And because you're helping support them being profitable, they're able to provide you with this service. So here, we're just gonna go ahead and click on here. And boom, we spent 500 Felix coins. We have successfully purchased our upgrade and we are now able to create our free Minecraft server hosting server. So we go ahead and once again, create. Now, right off the bat, we get 15 gigs of space and three gigs of memory. So here you have to allocate how much memory this specific server is gonna have. You can have a maximum of up to three servers. So each server that you make of three can have one gig of RAM, or you can make one primary server with three gigs of RAM. So it's all depending on how you wanna set up your servers. And there's only one tier here for the location, which is the ultimate tier, which essentially very similar to Minehut. If there are no players logged onto your server for five minutes, it goes into a hibernation mode, which we'll cover here towards the very end of the video. Once you've set this all up, you go ahead and select create. Now. Our server has been created here. We can see survival craft. It's been allocated with three gigs of memory, but by default, it only has one gig of space available for it at the moment. So on the right hand side, what you wanna do here is select change disk, and then it's gonna pop up a little window here where you're gonna go ahead and max it out to the maximum amount, which is 15,000, or if you wanna allocate that by into three servers, that would be 5,000 per server, and then 1,000 megabytes per memory for each server to have your three servers set up equally. So here we're gonna go ahead and just hit close, and we have successfully updated our space. Here we can see three gigs of memory, or 3,000 megabytes, and 15,000 of megabytes for the space which is 15 gigs there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and update our password and log into our panel by selecting log into the panel. Here, first we do have to set up a password in order to get into your panel because so far we've only logged in via Discord. So we need to click on here to update your password, change your game panel password. And once you've updated your password, your new password is you know subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Then you're gonna go ahead and click on log into the panel and log in using your password. Now it's gonna go ahead and show you your server here. We named our survival craft. And if you had multiple servers here, they would all appear right here. But in our case, we just have the one. So we're gonna go ahead and select our one server. And initially, before you know, getting it all going, you hit start to start up the server. And while it's starting, it's gonna ask you a few questions. Question number one, what do you wanna get this going? What do you want to download? You wanna download Minecraft or do you wanna exit? Obviously, you're gonna go ahead and select one for Minecraft. Question number two, which version of Minecraft do you wanna play? We have Purper, uh, Tunity, Velocity, Paper MC, Travertime, or Bungie Cord. We're gonna be using Paper MC, very similar to Spigot where we can load plugins. So we're gonna go ahead and select option two. And then here our supported, supported versions are everywhere from 1.7 all the way up to the latest version of 1.17.1. .1. So we can see that they have the latest of each version of those servers. So they have the latest version of the 1.16, which was the 1.16.5 and so on. So they have the latest of their you know, individual versions. Uh, so we went ahead and loaded the 1.17.1 .1 and our server began to start up. Now it's in the idle stage. So if you're comparing this to other free hostings, this would be very comparable to Minehut where the server itself stays in an idle hibernation mode up until someone joins your Minecraft server and it goes back into hibernation mode. If no one is logged into your server for five minutes or longer, it goes into a hibernation mode. But this can remain online 24 seven if there is a player logged into the server, if you build in out your server to be pretty active, or if you yourself are pretty active or you give ranks to members that allow them to AFK without disconnecting for your server. So this can all be set up through essentials and we can cover some of that in the future. But essentially this server does remain up 24 seven so long as somebody is either logged onto it 
and you know all that fun stuff so in order to get our server going we do have to join the server initially as it says right here once you have under set it and read it you basically hit one to set up your server so we went ahead and hit one and try to log on to our server now again we talked about it's hibernation mode so the server is currently offline though no worries we're currently starting up for you automatically please join in 20 seconds so the first time that you log in it's going to pop up the eula on the site itself so go ahead and select accept and see it says down here that the player has joined and you accept and your server begins to start up so now we can begin to connect to our server and log in so the very first time we logged into the server and then i logged back out and then in order to make myself an operator giving me admin permissions i went ahead and within the console mode type in op and my username which is unchallenged then on the console and inside the game i can see that i was made server operator we can see here at the bottom, we can see the current memory. So it's using about 1,500 megabytes of 3,000 or 1.5 gigs of three gigs. So, you know, you're, you're only using half of the memory allocated, which is very nice for this style. And here at CPU, once it started and kind of idled back down, it hung anywhere from 20 to 30%. So overall, it actually ran fairly smooth. And we logged on to the server. We made ourselves that server operator. You know, boom, I'm online, woot, subscribe, hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up. So everything was good. I went ahead and checked back over. What else is available here from the console page? Because that's where we were at. So here we have a couple different folders up top. We can see again here, we're using 18.13% of the CPU, 1.64 gigs of, uh, 2.93 gigs of, that's the memory. And as far as, uh, storage goes we're using less than 200 megabytes out of the 15,000 megabytes allocated for storage on the server uh, so we do have some other options here we have the file manager where we can edit files directly the database which we don't have access to on free schedules you can set up some schedules users you can send out emails to users you know members admins helpers of your channel to get them access onto here so they can edit stuff we'll, we'll go through these options here in a second backups network startup and settings so starting with file manager you can go ahead and select file manager here you can quickly adjust files and edit them within the file manager here without having to ftp onto your server so in this case fairly easy you can't drop anything drag and drop anything into here without ftping first but uh, it's fairly easy to do. Databases cannot be created for the server because it is free. Backups cannot be created for the server because it is free and set to zero. But again, you can FTP using something such as FileZilla and back up your Minecraft server yourself. You can set it up as a, uh, as a scheduler on your own computer. So we're gonna go ahead and skip over databases and go into the scheduler. Scheduler here, you can create your schedule. I have named it Reboot. You can go ahead and set a power action command so you know every night or every day you can do a specific event you know such as resetting the end or shutting down your minecraft server to kind of refresh it on a nightly basis so you can come up with different schedules here and users so here's where you can create sub users for your server you can create a new user you put it in their email there so if you have a helper you punch in the helper's email you give them access to your console give them access to start up the server if anybody is ever having issues you know if you have a discord you can go ahead and message on the discord one of the helpers or the admins yourself will start up the server if it happens to go offline you can give them access to create additional users read update delete and so on this list actually goes down pretty nicely uh, if we go into the startup features not a whole lot within here we've kind of skipped over some of the other settings that we couldn't really adjust and our settings overall so it gives us our server details our username oh so this is the ftp so FTP wise, if you have FileZilla, you can use the server address, you get in your username and you type in your, your panel password and you can actually FTP to here using FileZilla. And that's how I was able to start checking out what plugins or editing files that way. So here, as an example, I went ahead and punched in the server details that it provided me. I connected to the server and I went ahead and began to test out moving essentials 
over in other plugins as well. I also noticed that they had an idle shutdown in here, which basically shuts down your Minecraft server after it's been idle for five minutes. So me being me, just kind of testing things out, I deleted the idle shutdown and I deleted the plugin there that was created for that. So there's that two dot jar that created the idle shutdown. So I kind of deleted these both out to see if with these being deleted, if the server would still idle and shut down after five minutes and it did. So even though I had deleted it out of the plugins folder, turned off my server and turned it back on and then left it running and disconnected for a while, the server still went into offline mode regardless if I had had those plugins in there and the code. So they're doing something on their end to kind of shut it down either way. So uh, that is basically it as far as the whole startup process from signing up to getting started, to getting some Felix coins, to booting up your own Minecraft server, getting it allocated, and even being able to FTP it. That is all possible here on this free Minecraft server hosting. And we're gonna definitely probably be using this one unless anybody else has some comments or suggestions in the future as far as other 24 seven. So far, this is definitely number one where I don't have to renew anything. I just have to be logged in and that can all be set up through essentials where I don't get kicked and I can essentially create a free 24 seven Minecraft server. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly jump over into the game itself and start it up from start to finish. So from right here, we're gonna go ahead and get this going. I am going to go ahead and pull up a timer over here. Let's go ahead and reset that timer. So what this timer is going to do is see how long it starts, how long it takes for our server to kind of get going. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start on the Minecraft side. And this is going to kick off our server. So right here on the left hand side, we can see that the server is ready to go. It's currently in listening mode. It's been in listening mode for a little bit. I wanted to go ahead and do this live with you guys. So all we're gonna do here is click on start, start up our watch. Now the server is offline right now, though no worries, we are starting it up for you automatically. So if players have been logged off your server for five minutes or longer, it goes into the hibernation state, such as we see here. But if a player goes on to log on to your server, we can see that a player has joined the server. It's now kicking start our server right now. And it's going through the whole process of, you know, booting up our server. So it does say that kind of check back within 20 seconds, but we can see here that the world still isn't spawning. It is actually preparing the spawn area now. So we can kind of see how that process is going. We're at 40 seconds right now and it's still building up the overworld. Now, now it built the nether and now it's building the end. It's gonna go ahead and start doing the whole little spawn process where it starts preparing the spawn. And this should idle out. So the first time I've never seen, oh, there it goes right there. Uh, timing reset. So right here, we should be able to click out, click start, and we are logging in at essentially one minute. And there we go. We are loading up our world. Let's go ahead and check it out. It is nighttime right now. So not the best time to be logging on to a Minecraft server such as this right now where we have absolutely nothing and sitting at two and a half hearts. But we can, oop, there's a spider over there. I can take my chances with the cow. But overall, looks fairly nice. Took a minute to start up from being in hibernation mode. Again, really nice, easy access to your FTP file so you can add additional plugins as you want versus other uh, Minecraft server hosting such as Minehut, which doesn't let you have FTP access. So you can actually have server level access to your server where you can do your own backups for yourself. You can load your own custom plugins and all of that information. So I do wish I had a, a better area, but uh, that's going to be it. So that is going to be it for this video. What did you guys think of Felix nodes? Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have any other suggestions for other free Minecraft server hostings. We're gonna be definitely checking out there's another free Minecraft server hosting and then we'll be going from there. So if you are brand new to the channel, have not yet subscribed, go down below, hit the red button to subscribe, make it gray, hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, make it blue. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.